Right, so I'll start again um, for the purposes of the cast, if that makes any sense. Hello there, and welcome to Flexi Time Championships 4. Without further ado, we're bringing you Game 2 of Sturm Tiger Giap versus Ass Bag. We've got Giap selecting um, the US on Angerville, starting in the south after a very, um, very well handled Ass Bag's incredible play as Soviets from the south in the first game. It was a fantastic contest. And I'm sure if you're watching the series, you started with game one, so we don't have to go into too much details what happened there. We have got Asbag straight away with the Ostrupin, which is hopefully for Asbag going to allow him to expand around on Angerville and cap, cap, cap. He's got the MG42 to try and keep the riflemen at bay all the while. This is a very meta orientated game. It's surprising to some players, uh, some fans, just how much Ostrupin have come into the fore as of late. They really are showing their um, their worth, seemingly. So you wouldn't have thought it'd be meta orientated a year ago if you were talking about Ostrupen. It seems that Giap, however, has got the west of the map. He's got the fuel currently and the victory point. So despite Asbag's Ostrupen play, it seems that Giap's uh, handling it pretty well. It must be said. You do want Ostrupen to really work for you in the early game. So we're going to see if that happens now as he pushes south through the east, if that makes any sense. All the while, Giep's trying his hardest to keep them at bay. He's got the riflemen in the house, but against Ostrupen and green cover, you do get a lot of DPS raining down on you. Pioneer is now coming to try and cap this victory point for Asbag. He has got a rear echelon to possibly maybe volley fire him out of that engagement. Back to the east, Ostrupen putting again fire down on the house he's going to replenish the house with fresh um, riflemen nice tactic from Giap there volley fire does indeed go down on the pioneers they are up close so if any of the squads can use their mp40s they will get a little bit of damage but they are now pinned so they're going to have to retreat out of there mg support standing by and that mg support means that this house is getting a, a Cavalcade of fire raining down upon it. Here comes the Ilzwilliger, or whatever the German for Ostrupen is. Oh. <laughs> that was a joke. Ostrupen is Ostrupen for German. Or German for Ostrupen. Why did they say Hilsvilliger? I wonder what that means. Zarox on Team AE, that's always nice to hear. Second MG42 out from Asbag, and he's using this one to rain fire down on the cutoff, but he's not, you know, protecting much because he hasn't got the western side of the map currently, but it's going to be interesting to see how that works out. So it could be a little bit of a feign here. He's gone with the, the Ostrupen to start, three Ostrupen squads. It hasn't quite capped as much of the map as maybe he would have liked, and now he's getting MG42. But then straight away, Giap has now got frag grenades, grenade package for Giap. And he's now forcing his way straight. Ah, Combat Doe in chat has said Hills. Sorry, Hilfsziliger. I said that right. Is non combat Ostrupen. Like the guys on the Normandy beaches, the guys with the stomachs and, you know, wanting to go back home to speak to Goethe and stuff. Possible. No, there's no point putting a grenade in against Ostrupen because they just. What's the point? He does put a grenade in against Ostrupin. He gets three men in our strong house. That was surprising. I was about to say there's no point, but uh, there you go. And there's the grenade package really showing its true worth with the smoke, allowing him to, to decap this cutoff. In the west, seems that rear echelons again managed to force away Ostrup, and that's, that's, that's very, very uh, surprising. MG opening up for Asbag again. He is losing the map. Giap is really pushing strong, pushing hard. Very quick scout cost. Well, not very quick, but it's quick enough. Six minutes in. Obviously, with me having to update the scores, it, I have created a false impression of it only being four minutes into the game. Interesting camouflage on the scout car. Very intimidating. Rifles just standing by behind the house, possibly... <laughs> they tried to grenade that house, they hit their own house. That was bad for Giap, he's probably lamenting this game. He's had a little bit of uh, RNGs as bad luck in this series so far, and that was another example of it. So uh, you can never trust that grenade indicator, um, you know, action finder, or whatever you want to call it, where you click 
point and click, you know, the Quinn Duffy squint, uh, skill shot. Because sometimes if there's a heavy shot blocker in the way, it'll just hit the shot blocker. Reminds me of Fallout 4 when uh, you see your enemy throw a Molotov and they hit something, a piece of scenery, and it, you know, puts them on fire. Rifles under heavy duress. We have got the ambulance in base. That's toggle to obviously heal everything. If you notice in the west of the map, we've got Aspag now taking the fuel. So Aspag's in the ascendancy, it seems. He's put, managed to push Giap away, and Giap is answering with a pack howitzer. Not a bad answer to an Ostrupan question, it must be said. So captain out straight away. So could we be seeing a fast Stuart? Well, not a fast Stuart, but uh, a Stuart regardless from Giap. He's obviously gone for a pack out. It's a, um, so we know he's got the captain and such. But what I meant was, you know, he's not gone for M20 basically, which is interesting. We do have a pip of veterans on these riflemen, so the 2 to 2 would be in danger of an anti-tank grenade if they got too close. MG42 showing its worth there. The second MG42 is watching over the both avenues of entry, not this one, but these two. Captain under heavy duress, and Sturm Tiger GF has been pushed off the map. Have we seen two Wehrmacht victories? Surely not. Obviously not yet. Um, we've got Telemine in the centre from Aspag, so that is the most common spot for a mine in the history, the history of Company of Heroes, because this was the first map ever built, and that is the most trafficked area on the first map ever built, so that is the most mined area ever. So if you don't sweep that area, you're a dumbass. Um, rifles ready, who won last game? Ah, he's joking. Oh! Tala goes off, it was hit by seemingly the scout car, killing models on um, troops, which is probably not what you want. I wonder if he targeted his own Tala there, that would have been fantastic. Pack Howitzer now coming into action. The 222. No, the MG42 gets the kill on the rifle. First major squad wipe there. And Giap is really under the cosh as USF. Probably lamenting his lack of an M20 at this point, but he, he has got the pack howitzer, but that's now under fire from the 222, and it's got no answer to it. Where's the captain in this? The captain's now off his redirect to the west as fast as he humanly can. All the while, Aspag is now taking back the western cutoff, and he's going to be able to push on the western side of the map, especially because the rear echelons are retreating. 222, I don't know what the pack howitzer's playing at. It was fanning around, getting shot at. In the east, you've now got the rifles taking advantage of that third entrance I was talking about earlier. They're now going to go around the east there. Bazooka shots miss. S-mine in the centre though! So he's protected the MG's cutoff with an S-mine. Great play from Aspag. Hopefully that Gijap can see the skull and crossbones there. What a fantastic series this is! This is absolutely awesome! In the west we've got Ostrup under fire from the captain. There is a little bit of barbed wire protecting that yellow cover there. Bad nade off, doesn't get anything there. 2-2-2's two, two, all... well it's only got two kills but what it's been doing in general has been fantastic in this game. Putting excellent damage down on the rifles early, allowing the MG42 to get the kill. Sniper coming out for Aspag. We were wondering when we'd first see a Wehrmacht sniper. I thought we'd see one in the first game, but we didn't. Probably because it was against Soviets. Pakowitzer gets a great shot off against the scout car. I'd, I'd uh, argue that he'd have to get out of there. Indeed he does. Indeed he does. The rifles opening up against the Ostrupen. So we had to see rear echelons try and get rid of the Stuarts on the field. What the hell's happening? 